I can't. Abdullah from Lebanon. Assalamu alaikum, Abdullah. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh, Sheikh. I'm very happy that I'm calling you again. And I love to talk to you all the time. Pleasure is all mine. And I love to hear from you, Abdullah from Lebanon. May Allah bless you and your family. Please proceed on. I want to ask you a question regarding uh, backbiting. Uh, yes. If you are, for, mm -hmm. exa for example, if you are in the car coming from work and you're talking to yourself, nobody's hearing. Like mm -hmm. you're saying, if I get rid of this guy, my friend at work, he's so silly. Or I said to myself, oh, Alhamdulillah, this guy is so smelly. I, I, he's now I finished the, the work. I'm away from him. You're talking bad stuff about people, but with, with, with yourself. Nobody's hearing you except yourself. Is it mm. still considered backbiting? And uh, is it haram? Because you're only talking to yourself. Nobody's hearing. You know, we are not mm. angels. So sometimes we, we lose our tongue. But I'm trying my best not to talk bad about people in, uh, in front of others. But I talk bad, mm. like, for example, an actor, I don't like him, or this person at work, I don't like him. When I'm coming back from work, driving my car, I talk to myself. Oh, this guy, mm. he gave me a headache. This guy is very bad. This guy is this, but with myself. Nobody is sharing my conversation except myself. So this is also... This, act, this act is not an act of backbiting. Backbiting means to mention somebody in his or her absence before others, even if it is one individual, in a way that he or she does not like. But if you're talking to yourself, it is in your head. It is not a sin, nor is it backbiting. Yet, there is a fear that the more you keep building up this negative idea about this person, may develop hate towards him, may develop the urge to speak ill about him. So he would rather be asking Allah Number one, to guide him or her. Number two, to protect you against their harm and against their evil. That is more constructive and obviously it is better for your deen and honor. But talking to yourself or thinking in yourself, as long as it is something that you're certain of, because otherwise it will be bad suspicion. And Allah Almighty in Surah Al-Hujurat says, يا أيها الذين آمنوا اجتنبوا كثيرا من الظن إن بعض الظن إث Oh, you believe? Avoid much of suspicion. Indeed, some suspicion is evil, is sin. But you're talking about somebody whom you're dealing with. He's annoying you. He is whatever. So you are contemplating this in your mind. Is this act a sin? No. A sin will be an actual sin if the person either said it or acted upon it. Action or saying. But an Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Inna Allah tajawaza li an ummati al-khata' wa nisyan wa mastukrihu alayhi. Wa ma haddathat bihi nafsaha. The thoughts which cross somebody's mind, as long as you do not bring him into actions or sayings, you are being pardoned. 